Hello farmers. Today we are going to learn how to build a diffused light stove so that you can store your seed potato properly before planting. You do not need special expensive equipment for this. The materials you need can be found locally or you can adapt an existing structure instead of building a new one. Let's get to work. First things first. We need to work out the amount of seed we need to store so that we can know what size of store to build. To store 2 to 3 tons of seed potato for planting 1 hectare, we will build a store that is 6 meters long, 3 meters wide and 2.5 meters high. The construction site needs to be flat and open. This allows natural lighting and unrestricted airflow for good ventilation. Now that we have selected a site, let us gather the materials that we will need. In our case, we will use wooden poles, timber offcuts or bamboo planks, ordinary and translucent iron roof sheets, ordinary and roofing nails, and finally, insect-proof net. Let's start with the structure. We will use the wooden poles and timber for this. First, we erect the poles, construct the wall frame and the roof truss. Then we line the walls and roof up to the ceiling level with insect-proof net to help keep away aphids and potato tuber moths. Finally, we nail on the timber offcuts or bamboo planks around the wall, leaving a one-inch space in between the pieces to keep the potatoes well ventilated and allow light to come in. Remember, good ventilation ensures your seed potatoes don't dry out or become dumb and rotten. Now it's time to make the roof. It is important that the roof lets some diffused light into the store. Stored seed potatoes need indirect light to develop strong, dark, short sprouts that help ensure good germination after planting. Not enough light? Oops! This results into thin, weak, long sprouts that produce poor quality tubers. Alternating solid roofing sheets with translucent ones is a good way to let in the right amount of diffused light. A good test is to check that you can still see when you're inside. Now for the final touches. Putting metal sheets around the bottom of the walls stops rodents coming in. Rodents really enjoy eating our seed potatoes. For the floor, ideally use concrete or Choose cheaper options such as a mud floor covered with ballast or a compacted soil floor which we are using here. We are now ready to construct the shelves which will hold our seed potatoes. The shelves should be fixed along each wall with additional ones in the middle following the measurements you can see here. Our diffused light store is now ready to use. Ensure that you only select healthy seed potatoes to put into storage. Weigh and sort them by variety, size and date of storage. Label them clearly and handle with care to prevent damage. Arrange the seed potatoes in thin layers of about 4 tubers deep, ensuring that each tuber gets some light. Regularly check and turn the tubers and remove any rotting ones. If you spot a seed potato developing just one sprout, Pinch and remove it to encourage multiple eyes to open and sprout. Remember to always thoroughly clean and disinfect the store before storing your seed potatoes and before you store the next season's seed. <music> 